back to Costume Quest 2. We're going to do some cleanup and um, go grab that last costume. And hopefully the rest of these cards. Um, that would be great. So what we're going to do... Oh, I don't know if we can actually get it now. Um, oh, we can. We can. Wait, do we have to wear the hot dog to get through here? Oh, we can't get through. Um, let's try this. I don't know if you actually have to do that, but we did it. So what we're going to do... So I'm not sure how we get over there. Okay, well, let's let's take care of the first thing first. So what we have to do um it's in the warehouse, I think. No, it's not. Oh, no. Duh. Never mind. I'm dumb. Okay. So, we have to go... Oh, man. That was close. I didn't realize those guys went that way. Okay. So, we have to go back to the past. And so, there's this kid here. So you, you get this from him, and it turns out that it's a seed. This is the most cryptic thing I've seen. So, okay, so... You have a little plant growing. So now... Would you look at that? It's a little bit bigger. So we're going to go back up. Ah, there he is. Okay, so, you have to put on the superhero costume, the wolfman costume, and, uh, what was the other one? I don't know, let's try the hot dog. No, stop talking to him, dude. Okay, so let's put on the Jefferson costume and try negotiating with him. Okay, so hot dog. Okay, and then we need to do the superhero. Oh.
Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we gotta put the superhero costume on. Yeah. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. All right, so we got some fertilizer. So we can put our regular costumes back on. And we can head back to the past because we have to take the fertilizer that we just got and we have to put it on the, the little sproutling. Looks more like a cactus than a tree. Okay, so now we got this gigantic tree. And there's a hole here now. Okay. Ah. Let's buy a bunch of these cards. Okay, so how many are we missing now? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, do we have to? I don't. I don't actually know where we're supposed to go from here. So we'll we'll look up here, but I don't think this is where you go. Yeah, no, I think it, we have to go back where we were before and we have to go up to the the dental compound kind of nice that you have like a little warp spot through there though okay so let's see Ah, there's the tree. Can we get over to said tree, though? I don't think so. Not from here, at least. Yeah, no, I think we might have to go to... Oh, man. I think we might have to go to the Tooth Academy. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense to have to go to the Tooth Academy because, like, it, it opens that door there, which brings us here. Or not. Okay, give me two seconds. I'm going to figure this out. We will fade out, fade in, and find that tree. Okay, I think we got this. So we have to go, uh, what's the quickest way to do this? I think our quickest shot is going to be to go in the back of the research lab, probably. Because so I think we have to come up here. Yeah, there it is. 
and come out onto the tree and open up the door. Wow, that's a really cool perspective. That is neat. Man, that's a long way up. This tree's huge. What was in that fertilizer? I don't think I want to know. That's like miracle Grow on steroids. I mean, that's a big tree for like 20 years. Wow, I didn't think it was going to end. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, kind of reminds me of the staircase in um, the Shinra building in Final Fantasy VII. All right, there's our last costume. Okay, so let's see. We'll put on our wizard. 306 and 119. Wow. 368, 115. So that's like on par with the wizard. Okay, so let's... Can we just jump off? Whee! I think it would have been faster to just... Uh, to run down. <laughs> I've never seen characters fall in slow motion quite like this before. <laughs> I mean, what? I can understand the pterodactyl costume. It's got wings, but I mean, like... Okay, I guess. Okay, so where... Let's, um... Double candy reward. Um, what do... I wish it didn't take the descriptions off of the cards when it said you have a number of battles left, because I need to know which one to swap out. Okay, well, let's go, um, let's go fight some stuff. We can see this uh, this costume in action because we got to save up. Uh, oh wow, we're the actual solar system. That's terrifying. Um, we have to save up a whole bunch of money, earn money, candy because we have to upgrade this costume. Okay, so let's see what uh, what we got here. Oh boy. Oh man, that's intense. Wow. <laughs> that's one way to take them out, I guess. <laughs> Holy crap, that's excessive. Like, really excessive. Um, Let's take them out, I guess. Okay, let's see what the regular attack's like. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! <laughs> I love this costume, it's cool. <laughs> Definitely a unique concept for uh, a costume that you can use. Okay, 225, not bad. So now, I don't know if these guys repopulate. Boop! Okay, let's see what kind of damage it does on the, the weakness. Oh, I screwed that up. That That's weird to time that one out. Okay, he's toast. And good news is, after this battle, 
we'll be able to see what, um... Ow. We'll be able to see which cards are which, so we can swap out the one that gives us double candy and we can uh, kind of speed things along. That's really weird to time out. Okay, so let's do this. Wow. And then we'll do this. So they'll get hit with that, and then the... Uh, yeah, that'll take them out. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back to our cards. Okay, so we'll swap out the full heal for the double candy. Um, the other one is double experience. And let's see, do we have any other ones? Let's go to the last page. We'll start there. Um, I don't know which one's which. Uh, well, we'll we'll uh, we'll get into a battle first, or actually, we'll go uh, we'll go heal up first. It shouldn't take too long to get all the candy we need because we're getting like two hundred plus every battle. Wow. Good damage. Um, okay, so let's get rid of this one. And this should get rid of... Oh, I hit the wrong one. Oh, well. That's fine. Okay, so we will use double candy. Toast. Okay, so that gives us 446 and then um, so double experience. So we'll we'll swap out the um, well. Let's see if what cards we have specifically that do stuff with candy. So this one gives us an extra hundred. So we'll swap that out for the two times attack because we don't need that right now. Um, special meters. Um, fifty percent max HP heal to all. Wow, that could be really useful. Um, I don't think there's anything else that gives us candy double experience single full heal splash damage on all attacks yeah no I think that's as good as we can do um, so how are we doing health wise um, let's go top up Um, how are we doing on candy? 9.55. Oh, wait. We still have one kid to find, don't we? Yeah, we still have to find a kid. Interesting. I have no idea where this kid would possibly be.
Yeah, and then that's that's all we have to do. Okay, so let's take this guy out. <clears throat> or these guys, whatever. That damage, though. Wow. Okay, let's do 100 candy. Um, I think this is going to take it out, so we'll use a double experience one next battle. Okay, so let's go check in with this uh, merchant guy. Yeah, we need 2,000, so a little bit more. And then, so let's let's round these to the nearest 100. So 5, 10, 15, 19, 23, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we need 3,200 in cards, roughly. Or for just four cards, and then another 2,000 for this. So, uh, 5,200. So we need to collect about 4,000 more candy. <laughs> oh, we're going to be here for a while. Um, well, let's go... Um, Hmm. I don't know where this kid would be. Boop! Oh, we screwed that up big time. I mean, that's fine. This will take him out. Oh. Interesting. So let's try this again. There we go. Um, I don't think this is going to take this one out, so... No. So let's double up our experience. Wow, the timing on that's weird. Okay, so let's go heal up and see if we can't find this kid hanging around somewhere. Hey man, you see a kid hanging around anywhere? Woo, candy. Hmm. I had a feeling the kid might have been back there because that would have been like the perfect place to put, um, like some, like to hide something. No, it looks like it's not there though. Um, we can take a check through, um, through the warehouse again.
Oh, whoops. I don't I don't I don't think a kid would be able to get in here though, because this place is locked up. You need a retinal scanner to get in. We found the kid in a security office. Um I mean, absolute worst case, um, we take out the enemies that are in here. Okay, I think it's safe to say there's no kids back there. There we go. Wow. That damage though. And yeah, let me guess, he's gonna buff? Yep. Perfect. Ah, okay, we can't do anything yet. I wish there was an upgrade that would let the cards be available every battle. Okay, well, we almost have enough for, um, we almost have enough for the upgrade. Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, boop! I said boop! Totally worth it. Aw, oh, come on, man. Um, yeah, let's do this. And then that should be enough to take him out. And then he's going to do something. Oh, he's going to heal. Okay, perfect. Um, let's do this. So we'll do double candy. And then this should be enough to take it out. Yep. Yeah. Good night. Okay, so how are we doing? I think we... Okay, we have enough for... Um, we have enough for the costume upgrade. No, no kid hiding up here. Okay, so let's go upgrade the costume. Hmm. And I know the kid is going to be somewhere in this area because the kids here, I think, are exclusive to the dental compound.
Wow, auto resurrect next defeated hero with 50% health for current battle. Cool, two times battle speed? Wow. Um, let's let's just save. Oh wow, our our costume turned like jet black. Um, let's go check over in that corner over there. Take the long way around so we don't have to fight that guy yet. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Okay, so what I'll do... Um... Instead of running around like an idiot and not accomplishing anything... Um, what I'll do is I will fight through a bunch of battles and try to figure out where this kid is. And when I find the kid, we will fade in where that kid is um, so that we can show picking up the last kid, upgrading our candy bag, and um, getting a whole boatload of candy so that we can buy the rest of the cards. So, comments, fade out. Okay, so I'm an idiot. And I, f I found the kid, but, you know, let's let's um, tackle this first. Okay, so we're going to... So with our with our upgraded costume, let's let's just watch this. It's the same attack. the entire planet gets roasted. But it sets them on fire. Which is really, really nice. Now, once we're done this, you're going to see this is actually hilarious. Um, I, I don't understand how I missed this kid. But, so, you come over here. And, yeah, the kid's just kind of chilling right here. I, I, I don't even know how many times we came here. But, there, we found all the kids. Experimental bucket, eh? All right, 2,000 experience. So let's see what that does for our candy collecting in battle. Boop! Um, do we have... Which card do we have available? Okay, plus 100 candy. That's that. That'll be fine. You can take this guy out. Um, let's do the card now. Oh, we whiffed that, but it doesn't matter.
I don't think we're going to have enough damage here to take this out. Ooh, maybe. Oh, just enough. Okay, so no no change to the candy that we got. It's just we got a bigger a bigger bucket. So, let's see what um let's see what cards we can buy. Maybe one more battle before we do that. We'll hit the 2000 mark. Oh, we don't get we don't get a preemptive here. That's fine. That damage is beastly. Oh, whoops. I forgot about the second attack there for a minute. I don't, don't, don't know why. Um, what we will do after, too, is we're going to go fight the final boss again with this new costume. Um, after we finish buying all the cards. So we can round out the game properly. I am curious what the uh, what the max level is, though. Oh, we're on the verge of level 12. One more battle. One more. This will get us to level 12. All right, let's go. Okay, so we can... Wow, 346. Um, let's take out that one. Bye. <laughs> we can have an absolutely ridiculous setup where we have like a double damage thing for uh, whichever character is going to be most effective against the final boss and end it in like probably a couple of turns. Okay, and that should be a level. Yeah, okay, 12 is the max. Okay, so we max leveled. Cool. So let's see what our stats are like. 450 and 140. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so we have, um, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-five. So we need eight hundred more candy. Let's do this. We're so close. I figure we we did a hundred percent in the first game. Might as for like all of the first game, including the DLC. Might as well hundred percent this too, right? Wow, that damage, though. Wow. Oh, we totally missed the button press there, but that's fine. Okay, and then we can use double candy. Uh, the other one, okay, we don't need double experience anymore. 
This should be like uh, four something, four sixteen. Okay, so I think two more battles and then we're done with candy collecting. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sure enough. Okay, let's go grab this guy. Boop! That damage is great. Wow. I think we have, like, one more battle. Oh, oh well, and there it is. <laughs> That's going to be our last battle, I think. All right. Good night. And I think we are home free. Holy crap, man. That was almost the entire health bar. All right, and I think that'll do it. 951, I think that should be just enough. Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> just enough by 26. So there, that does it. All the cards. All cards. All costumes. Interestingly enough, you can't get an upgrade for this. Like, they let you upgrade the candy corn. Why can't you upgrade this one? I guess because you can't use it in battle? All of our quests are done. So, let's... Um Let's put that there. I'd be curious to see if that works on the, the final boss. Let's do that, and then let's swap, uh... I don't know.
Let's do um let's do a half um where was it? 50% max HP heal to all. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do this. Um, yeah, let's go for that. So what do we got here? So let's use that. Okay, so there's one less blaster to deal with. Okay. So we can go all out now. Because I don't think he has any blasters left. Um. Yeah, let's just do a normal attack. I don't understand why the attack numbers are in red when the damage is going up. Normally, that only happens when the damage goes down. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, holy crap! A thousand damage! Jeez! Jefferson's busted. Jefferson is absolutely busted. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's half. <laughs> I think we might have him here. Yeah, there he goes. Toast. Okay, so I think I skipped this last time.
Yeah. Good choice, man. Um... So far, this looks exactly the same. Like, it doesn't look like that what we accomplished changed anything at all. No. No, we just get to run around as in a weird-looking sun costume that's supposed to be a black hole. Yeah, this is exactly the same. And I, I did... Um, I did do a quick search just to make sure that there isn't anything else you can actually do on in here, and it, it doesn't... Like, it looks like they just end the game here, and you just run around in, until the end of time. Um, we can chill here for a minute, though. Collect some candy that we don't need. Can we get up there? Okay, let's uh, come over here where the music is. Collect some candies. But, so, I think this game, it's definitely an improvement over the first. Um, the combat does take a little getting used to, but it's not, it's not really... It's not the worst thing ever. Um, the music is great. Um, the costume designs are really cool. Can you stop walking into me, man? Um, especially this this uh, black hole costume that we have. That was actually really cool. I, I mean... I say really cool, but like excessively cryptic in how you're supposed to get it. <laughs> Cause like how you're supposed to know you use that Jefferson costume on that kid in the sewer to negotiate for a, for a bean basically, or a, a seed. I have no idea, but um, I, I think it was pretty neat the way they did it. And they, they even managed to work in time travel. Um, the locations were cool. Although it didn't feel this one didn't have the same like Halloween charm that the first one did this one like you go to the future to ha to go trick-or-treating and stuff back in the suburbs but it's all like it doesn't feel like halloween it just feels like you're randomly going and looking for candy because candy's been deemed illegal um the first one actually felt like like halloween which was awesome um so that's the, I, I think the only thing i would have changed about this is that they would have kept the same Halloween atmosphere because like the, the first place that we went to in the French quarter, it didn't feel like Halloween. That just, that felt kind of random. <laughs> um, this going through the sewers and stuff and through the outskirts of like the tooth Academy and stuff that, I don't know. It, it, it felt like they were, they were trying to expand out because the idea well might've been a little dry. And that explains why we ended up in the tooth compound where there's like a guy who's clearly a dictator <laughs> because his mom wouldn't let him have candy as a kid. 
But I mean, all things considered, it's super fun little game. Um, I feel like this one was a little bit shorter than the last one. But that might be just specifically because the DLC. And as far as I know, there is no DLC expanded for this. Like, I, I don't think there's any, like, extra levels or anything that you can get. Um, as far as I've seen, there was only DLC for, like, extra costumes. But those, I don't think, are required to have, like, your, your menu filled out for a hundred percent um so we maxed our levels out um we got all four candy bags we rounded out all of our maps so we have absolutely nothing left to find all of our quests are done all of our masks our masks all of our uh, costumes are done, except that doesn't have an upgrade, and I'm not sure why. Got all our cards. Um, the, I guess the only other thing that I, I would complain about in this is the fact that they changed the stamp system. The battle stamp system in the first game was awesome. It, it was like, actually, it was really good. And then you had like just the cards as collectibles. Where this one, it feels like they tried to combine them and the way that they implemented it was kind of just eh. like having cards that you can only you can only bring three into battle they don't apply any passive buffs or resistances to anything and after you use them you have to wait somewhere between one to three turns before you can use or one to three battles before you can use the card again um Adding the extra mechanics in battle was was really cool, but just I really wish they wouldn't have taken that stamp system out of battle. Like they could have implemented it the same way. They could have had the stamp system, but and and had you collect the stamps. But the stamps could have, like the the cards could have been secondary to the stamps, where you have battle stamps that you can equip on each character, and then you have cards that you can have three of to bring into battle that work the same way as they do now. That would have been really cool. Um, overall, though, I mean, gameplay-wise, the controls are really smooth. Um, took me a little bit to get used to because they changed some of the buttons around. But So we have, um, like, the speed shoes. You have to hold down the, uh, I guess, the equivalent to L2 or the, the left trigger um, to do that. But just the, the extra actions they added with the costumes and stuff really neat and i'd highly recommend doesn't matter what time of year it is if you see this and it's on sale i don't know how much it goes for regular price i got it free through the epic game store um not as any kind of like promotion thing it's just they they had a like epic game store gives away boatloads of free games like every week um so if you want to get some games and you you're on like a super tight budget um sign up with the epic game store and just like get the app on your desktop or whatever and every week they have a section on their homepage that has free games on it and some weeks it's one some weeks it's two um like around halloween there was uh they gave away the evil within the evil within two um i got i think the call of cthulhu came in through there for free at one point um i don't even know they just boatloads of games they give away for free just randomly and it's awesome because it, it just it pads out your uh, your collection so if you want to if you want to stream something you want to start like variety streaming you can just like wait a couple weeks get some games and start streaming with the stuff you got for free from the epic game store i've never had any issues with any of the content they have but um this is where i got that and it was it was through their their weekly free games thing so I mean, I was aware of it before that because I had bought Costume Quest um, way back in the day on the PS3 when it was still new. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think with that, we'll uh, we'll wrap this one up here and move on to the next game. So hopefully you enjoyed taking a ride through Costume Quest 2. 
Um, if you ever want to refer back to it in the future, if you decide to play it again, you want to do 100% you can't find something, uh, the videos are all in playlists. I do playlist all my videos. Um, and that's just my imaginary OCD telling me that I have to group them together. Similar titles, similar everything. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. Hopefully you had a blast with this. I, I know I had a blast going through this game. Both of them, actually. Uh, it's too bad there isn't any DLC so we could play it a little bit longer. <laughs> but that'll do it. On to the next game. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>